Hello everyone, in today's video we will be seeing the Michelson interferometer. So how it can be used to determine the refractive index of a gas. And secondly, we have to solve this numerical. So let's start with a basic understanding of the Michelson interferometer. So in this diagram you can see the source. It's a monochromatic source. So it is, it is emitting a particular wavelength. Now it is a beam splitter. Splitter. So it splits the light into two parts. The one is reflected upwards and the other one is refractive to the right. So we are placing this tube, this glass tube in it, we will be putting the gas. So we will find out the refractive index of that particular gas. And now they will reflect back from both the mirrors, M1 and M2. So these two reflected rays will interfere and we will see the black and white fringes. The vertical distance is D2 and the horizontal distance is D1. So starting with the case 1. In case 1, we have no gas tube in it between the path. So we have no gas tube. So the difference between, so this is 2D1 minus 2D2. Light is traversing twice. So it is twice D1 minus twice D2. It's a path difference between the two rays. That should be equal to the integral multiple M into lambda so this is the condition for constructive interference similarly in case 2 we will be having gas tube in the horizontal path of the ray so the path taken horizontally will become twice d1 if the length of the tube is t, so we will minus this distance 2t. So we and add on this distance if the refractive index of the gas, if the refractive index of the gas is mu, so we will add on this thickness in the path. So this is the horizontal distance minus the vertical distance so the vertical path is twice of d2 so this will become n into lambda just have to take the difference of these two so writing down the two equations from two cases so first is 2d1 minus 2d2 is equal to m lambda so it's without gas tube And second is 2d1 minus 2t plus 2 mu t minus 2d2 into n lambda. So it's with gas tube. So we will subtract this 1. This is 2. So we will 2 minus 1. So we are subtracting. So this is 2 d1 minus 2t plus 2 mu t minus 2 d2. This is the with gas tube minus without gas tube. 2 d1 plus 2 d2. And the right hand side will become n minus m lambda. So if we open these brackets, so this, this will cancel out 2d1 with 2d1 and minus 2d2 with plus 2d2. So we are left with twice mu minus 1 into t, which is equal to n minus m into lambda so so we will be using this formula to solve the second part that is numerical part 
so let's see the numerical so now we are given a tube of length 25 centimeter and containing a gas of refractive index mu so we are having a gas with refractive index mu introduced between upper mirror and the beam splitter so we are having the upper mirror and the beam splitter and the 150 fringes cross the center of the field so we are having n minus m is equal to 150 fringes which are crossing the center of field view and the wavelength is given as 5890 Armstrong so we are having this lambda so we are giving the length of the tube as 25 centimeter so mu is the refractive index n minus m is 150 fringes and we have lambda is equal to 5890 Armstrong so we have to find out the mu so we just have to put all these values into the formula so this is twice into 25 centimeter so we will divide by 100 to convert it into meter so this is mu minus 1 this is 150 and this is 5890 Armstrong minus 10 so mu minus 1 will be equal to 150 into 5890 into 10 is for minus 10 this is 2 into 0.25 so this will comes out to be after solving this we will get 0 0.0001767 so our mu becomes 1.0001767 this is the reflective index of the gas so if you have any doubt related to this topic this you can ask me in the comment box and if you like this video please like share subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching this video